Absolutely. ASPCA. Um, they finally got there. Yeah. <clears throat> they but got there. Too late for the one dog. I don't know what happened to you the know, other dog. What? What kind of mentality uh, do these owners possess? I mean, obviously, many people should never have pets or ah. or children. But ah. this is like bizarre. I mean, would they want to be chained out in ninety-five plus degree temperature out in the bright sun mm. with a filthy pan of hot water? Many people cannot walk in someone else's moccasins. But 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 it's a a dog. A dog is uh, a, any animal um, in the wild. Mm -hmm during the hottest uh, days of the year they, they seek shelter they seek shelter in the yeah. midday and they come out to feed early in the morning and in, late in the afternoon mm -hmm. and and during the midday they're 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 in some form of shelter a, bur a burrow or or in a forest or something or in a tree or you know um, even desert animals do this that are from the desert you think they're out moseying around looking for food in uh, during sun. high noon, you know, or, yeah. or, or the afternoon sun. Mm. No. So, unbelievable. Speaking of animals, yeah, it's shame. the Republicans, <laughs> especially in the House, truly have shown that they care little about the poor and middle class, and only care about enhancing the already vast wealth of corporations and the wealthy. Oh yeah, you know, if you're not an elitist like them, you could perish for all they care. They, you know, they uh and they would like that. And 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 they blame they blame the deficit on uh, always on social programs like food stamps. <laughs> Which, you know, I mean, collectively, uh, doesn't, and, doesn't social services make up a tiny percentage of the budget? And they call themselves Christian. Yeah. When, if you were a real Christian, you would be taking care of the poor. Not by writing a check or whatever, but by making sure that they become no longer poor. Now, what was that thing? I believe you put it up there last night. The amount of money that... It would take today it, to take everybody out of poverty. Well, the money, the, the money that was spent on, on, on the wars, the military yeah, budget... 70, uh, 1. 1.7 something yeah, trillion dollars. On the, on the wars, if you took a... a much 135 billion dollars. Right. Would which make everybody no longer poor. Yeah, which is which is a small percentage. Drop in a bucket. Which is the drop in a bucket of the total amount that was spent on the wars. And the military wars, military budget. War. And not and what about the Wall Street bailouts? Yeah, I was just gonna say that bingo. Bingo! Trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars. Remember uh, 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 uh Sagan? Billions and billions and Carl billions. Carl Sagan. We don't like to talk about billions. The late Carl Sagan. We talk about trillions today. So to eradicate poverty in America, it would take out of all those trillions of waste, because giving welfare to the rich is waste. Correct. And 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 uh, and is a sin. And and paying for wars that are unnecessary for the United States to be involved in. <gasps> Oh, but we have to sell weapons. We have to turn over our inventory. We have to make more weapons. Hey, we have to make rich those private contractors. You're forgetting and about and steal you're, from students, the poor. Forgetting about the oil and the middle class. Oh yes, and, and, supply, and stealing yes. oil from other countries. Yeah. No, but the the thing is, uh, it would be a drop in the bucket to. To all that money that was wasted to eradicate poverty in the United States. Mm -hmm. 
And you know it was cheaper once upon a time. And there still wasn't that. And with a lot left over, also, so you wouldn't have to have charities out there like exact bingo, like save the children or feed the children in Africa. You know, starving children, and uh, you know, you would eradicate hunger. That's the object, isn't it? Worldwide to make the poor no longer poor, self-sufficient. Why well, is that resisted so much by the wealthy? The greedy conservatives perhaps want to kill off the poor. Because we suck up their resources. Well, they suck up their, in their minds, it's their resources. And we are sucking them up. Like, uh, didn't that CEO of Nestle say that people do not have a right to drinking water? That's correct. Who the hell is he to say that? He got away with saying it. People, pe people have been drinking the Earth's waters for thousands of years, for, for tens or hundreds of thousands of years. People have been drinking of the Earth's pure water, and this CEO of Nestle comes around and says, "You do not have a right to drinking water." Yeah, because he has power, the arrogance, and wealth, the arrogance of a corporate CEO to say that. Mm-hmm. That's like saying, telling God, uh, you know, everything that you put here, well, I'm a big, big shot CEO. I own it now. And I own it now. Yeah. He's almost, it's almost. The earth used to be yours, pal, but now I own it. Yeah, he's like, he's, he's like scoffing at God. He's, yeah. he's ho showing contempt for God by claiming that money gives him the right to control the earth's natural resources. And therefore, he wants to make people pay out of pocket for their very survival, including drinking water. Because then it goes into his pocket. It's it's an extremely wicked, selfish uh, ah! form of wicked of of society of government. When you think about it, this this type of capitalism, you know, this um, extreme right wing form of capitalism is very wicked and evil. <coughs> Among other things, they shamelessly want to cut food stamps, balk yeah. against reduced interest rates for student loans, and suggest actions that would cut Head Start, Meals on Wheels, and other programs vital to the poor and elderly. Additionally, they only want the type of immigration reform that serves to spend billions to build unneeded added security on the Mexican border, where under President Obama, the net rate of influx has been reduced to zero. Many House Republicans stay in office through fear, and unfortunately, most of those who vote for them who ironically are from, wait, who ironically are often hurt by their policies, mm -hmm. get their news from right-wing media. It is truly sad and a frightening situation. For if the conservative Republicans achieve their goals, we will be a country of a few very wealthy people, a small middle class, and a vast number of struggling, working poor. The conservatives have already caused us to lose the respect of many foreign countries and are on the way to making us a second world country. That's true. Unfortunately, that's very true. And what are we doing about it? Nothing. Thank you. Thank you. The media is uh, is controlled by the same elitists, and the people believe what they hear on the news. God forbid you truly would like to cut the waste 
in government spending. You are called a pinko, a liberal, a commie. Well, anybody who disagrees with the right wing is called names. I yeah. mean, uh, there's only one way to cut, and that's to cut the poor. Yeah, I mean, I no mean, other way. I mean, idiots like Bill O'Reilly uh, call people uh, America haters that uh, disagree with anything that Fox News or the or the right wing believes in. Mm. Right away, you you know, you're un-American. But but they're not un-American for uh, for approving of outsourcing of jobs or offshore hey, offshore uh, mailboxes. As long as they wear that flag lapel pin, they're patriots, baby. They're patriots. You don't wear it, you ain't. They're patriots if um, if they don't pay taxes and they right. keep their money offshore and they right. outsource American jobs. Right. Just because they say so. Who right. gives a shit what they think? The the fact is they're hypocrites. I don't care what kind of lapel they're they wear. They're evil and wicked. You mentioned the two Psalms before. That's them right there, the wicked. Who have set their sights upon yeah. the poor. And and that, Psalm ten verse two, Psalm ten verse eight. Right, and one 1 Timothy, I uh, believe it's chapter 6, uh, verses 6 through 10, about the money being the root of all evil, and uh, but it goes into a little detail yeah. besides that. But anyway, yes. There are hundreds and hundreds of verses in the Bible yeah. protecting the poor yeah, against right. the wicked in itself. Uh, Ecclesiastes. And you never hear uh, these things. Uh, Proverbs. Yeah. You ever hear anything from uh, Pat Robertson? You ever hear them from Joe Olstein? Oh, Joe Olstein and his... Prosperity preachers, they're new. Pat Robertson. God wants you to prosper. Well, Joe, at the expense of the poor. Joe Osteen is just obsessed about with money. He's just a greedy prosperity preacher. Pat Robertson only talks about um, about punishing gays, <laughs> and, and uh, you know he deals with morality, you know right wing morality uh, issues. Uh, yeah. He doesn't really mention anything uh, anything positive about helping the poor. Pat of course Robertson. he doesn't uh, allow God to do those punishments either. And does he, he wants to do them. Yeah, he and wants his ilk. Yeah, he wants to throw he wants to to destroy gays and everything. Stone them. He wants to stone them. Yeah. But he never talks about with all his money Pat Robertson never mentions um, that he's involved in any charity about feeding the homeless or oh, he's got a charity it's his uh, I think it's a gold or a diamond mine in Africa that's his charity that's his charity oh yeah I mean I mean honestly have you ever heard of Pat Robertson being involved with anything to help the homeless and the poor in the United States no only his for uh, 700 club 700 club yeah to support the 700 club yeah which he's in charge of yeah <laughs> which means the money goes to him yeah Oh, nice guy, right? Governor Christie recently vetoed a bill that would have banned the use of gestation crates Ugh. on pig farms in New Jersey. Gestation crates are used with breeding sows that are pregnant for most of their lifespan. Food and water is provided to the mother pig while she is in the stall, but she cannot move much. The animal may flop down on her side, but she cannot turn around. While McDonald's and Smithfield Foods have recently announced plans to stop buying pork from farmers who use gestation crates, 83% of American pigs spend some time in this cruel contraption. The bill, S1921, would have outlawed these crates. And it passed both houses by overwhelming majorities in May, with Democratic and Republican support. 
the National Pork Producers Council and their allies in the State Department of Agriculture were among the very few opposing the bill. Even one of the biggest hog farmers in the state, mm -hmm. Michael Clamfifer, Clamfifer, Clamfer of Moe's Fund Farm, was disappointed by the veto. He has never used a gestation crate because it's inhumane and would like his competitors to follow the same practice. New Jersey is turning its back on compassionate policies. At every turn, the governor sides with big business. Yeah, naturally. And against sensible regulations that help our community. So the so, pig... Um, he's a... Um, the pig is not compassionate for other pigs. No, he's not. Especially female pigs. No, the pig the pig is uh, all for himself. He's, he's the poster boy for gluttony and greed and, uh, and for conservatism. He's a, he's a typical, he looks the way he thinks. A conservative is a very gluttonous, uh, selfish, greedy person who's ups obsessed with money and who's stingy. Remember that car that drawing, a cartoonish drawing of a man, a fat, obese man with a black suit and a red tie dangling a loaf of bread in front of a poor man's face? That the guy looked like Chris Christie. But but it wasn't I don't know if it was meant to be him, but it looked just like him. We and do he, know it was a Republican. Yeah, and he's got a it, no, it was a Republican. Yeah. He's got like a a a, a, a tree a, a tree branch, you know, with a with a string on the end with the loaf of bread and he's dangling it dangling it in front of a poor person's face. Yeah, well that's He's trying to entice the poor person to do something. Yeah, to, to like a fish hook. To work to work for him and make right. him money oh. and, 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 and to try to uh, entice the uh, poor person with uh, low-cost cheap food. No, well, more. It's more of, ha, 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 come to work for me, pal, because that's how you're going to survive. Sucker. That's right. And he's, he's riding, he's on the poor person's back. Benefiting from him. That's right. Yeah. And not only that, very strange. There's another thing in the Bible. And the only reason I bring up the Bible is because these people claim, they claim to be Christians. They're not, but they claim it. They don't know. So the, the only way that you can undermine them or beat them at their own game is obviously to prove them wrong within their own context. <clears throat> so that's why I'm bringing it up. But in the Bible, there's also the statements that when you have somebody working for you, you pay them right away. You don't hold back on their pay for two weeks. Yeah, wh where's the incentive to go to work if you don't get paid? Unless it's slavery. And the only reason they do that is because, you know, if you quit and you haven't given them your proper amount of work for them. They feel that they're okay because they held back on your two week pay. In other words, you know, if you quit within that two weeks. Well, that's that's the general idea is that you get paid for your your uh, your work. Not with CEOs. That's the general idea. What if, what if their pay was withheld? Oh. <clears throat> what if the CEO's pay was withheld? Why should His some stock option? Why should somebody roll out of bed in the morning and go to work if they're not going to be compensated for it? With a living wage, not not with minimum wage, but a living wage. Where's the incentive? The living wages have gone to the top. Where's right. the Where's the incentive? Like I said before, there is none, and there shouldn't be any, because we have made this system, a big problem problematic system.
problematic. Wherein our very survival is dependent upon a private corporation? This is evil. People have to decide collectively that they're not going to be suckers and slaves for anybody. But unfortunately, the way the system is put is set up, we can't do that. Why not? Because we have to have something to survive with. Remember, in God's economics, there's true freedom and liberty. Because yeah. every man has his own land. Yeah. His own way to make a living. True. But we don't have that. Because we're dependent upon a private corporation mm -hmm. to give us our, our survival. The system is corrupt and crap. True. Okay? Very true. It needs to be changed. Speaking of animals again. Well, with this climate change, I, I hear more and more wild animals will be entering human populated areas. That's also prophesied in the Bible, too. Yes. In more intense heat, it is important to keep man's best friends in mind. Cats and dogs can be especially vulnerable to heat exhaustion and dehydration. Yeah. Oradell Animal Hospital in Paramus, New Jersey oh, God. offers the following tips for owners to help cats and dogs beat the heat. Very expensive, expensive animal hospital. Check your pet's water dish often. Refresh it with clean water on a regular basis. Put ice cubes in the water dish. Or use them as a treat. I think that's an outstanding idea. Is to load ice cubes into a bowl for these pets. Heat may cause decreased appetite and panting. Serve canned food if possible, or mix with dry canned food has higher moisture content. That has higher moisture mm -hmm. content. Mm -hmm. Limit outdoor heat exposure. When taking pets out for a walk, bring water and try to keep them in shaded areas. Many cats enjoy pet water fountains which may encourage more drinking. Putting pets in a cold shower or tub after being outside in the heat is not, not, I repeat, not recommended. You mean, you mean because of the shock to their body? Yes. So it's better to have them drink ice cold water than it is to dunk them in, a, in cold water. That makes sense. Well, I, I hear that uh, that ice water is absorbed into the bloodstream faster than <coughs> warm temperature water. Pets should be cooled slowly in a monitored temperature. Fans and air conditioning will help. Never, never Leave your pet in the car. It's like a, it's like a like an oven. It's like a, a, a cooker, you know, or or a child for that matter. No pet or, or a child should be left in the car. I saw a sign on uh, <clears throat> in the paper on uh, a a business. Mm -hmm. The business put it out there and it said that you can bring your dog into the store. Don't leave it in the car. Well, not if it's a. Now, somebody tried to do that the other day in ShopRite and they were chased out. Was it a Great Dane? Is it Bull Mastiff? I don't know what kind of dog. Bull Mastiff ever ransacked the place? Listen, listen, listen. This is what you got to do. When the weather is not so good, whether it be in the dead of winter or during a heat wave in the summer, <coughs> you let your dog out to go to defecate and urinate and bring it right back in the house and just let your dog just lie on the on the floor where it's nice and cool in the air conditioning or you know in front of a fan and keep it inside cats dogs what have you 
you don't have to take them for a ride and during a heat wave if you go shopping. They're better off at home. Put on talk radio or turn on the animal planet to entertain them and leave them at home. Yeah, but if you turn on Rush Limbaugh, they'll probably bark all the time. No, don't turn on Rush Limbaugh. Don't put on Fox News when your pet is home alone. But they're better off that way. You okay? Little spider, did you see that? No, I didn't. <laughs> well, fun. I, I want to... Is that is that reading over with? Because I want to yeah. give, give people instruction that we didn't give them before. When uh, William H. Morrill III was doing a promo for... Newsletter Censor, founded in 1977. <clears throat> okay, this is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. Go to www.newslettercensor.com and click on the printable order form. And with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored. Okay, um... Make sure your, your name and address is neatly printed. And so this is how you become a part of our organization. Now, this gentleman right next to me, this is a watercolor self-portrait of my co-host, the Reverend mm -hmm. Dr. William J. Eisenman, okay? And uh, you can see the William J. Eisenman collection by simply going to all one word, lowercase, William J. Eisenman Collection dot Tumblr dot com T U M B L R William J. Eisenman Collection dot Tumblr dot com If you see something you like, let us know. Uh, email Dr. Bill at Newsletter Censored or uh, post some information under the painting and if and if the painting is still available you can procure an authentic watercolor painting signed by William J. Eisenman. Okay. That's it. Continue. <clears throat> oh, let me see what this okay. You can drive, but you can't hide. Yeah. A rapidly growing network of police cameras is capturing, storing, and sharing data on license plates, making it possible to stitch together people's movements, whether they are stuck in a commute, heading to the beach, or up to no good. Really? For the first time, the number of license tag captures has reached the millions, according to a study published on Wednesday by the ACLU, based on information from hundreds of law enforcement agencies. Departments keep the records for weeks or years sometimes. It sounds to me like just another way to, to, uh, to gain and collect a revenue from the little guy uh, uh, instead of taxing the rich nitpicking. The saying they can be crucial in tracking suspicious cars, well, aiding drug busts, well, yeah, yeah, true. finding abducted children, true, true, and true, more. True, but also frivolously harassing people. Isn't that the job of a police state? To frivolously, fr frivolously uh, harassing, atta people. harassing and attacking people? Yeah. Because it instills 